basically. Yeah. Hey, it's Savannah and Kudzi, and in this series, we will be meeting some of the students working on UBC design teams, the projects they work on, and the spaces they occupy. We, we hope, hope you enjoy, enjoy the, the video. video. Hi, my name is Brandon Chen, and welcome to the UBC Chemicar Lab. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what do you build? Uh, so we build a small car that all has to be powered by chemical reactions. So that includes starting, stopping, um, and everything in between. And we have a annual competition that we go to every year. There's a regional one in April, and then a national competition in October. What position do you have, and what does that mean you do? So I'm part of the lab team at Chemicar, which means I design and test the chemical stopping mechanism, which in this year consisted of an iodine clock reaction. Tell us about the sub-teams of your projects and what they do. So there's kind of four sub-teams we have here at Chemicar. Uh, I'm in the lab team, which designs the chemical stopping mechanism. We also have a battery team, which designs the battery that powers the car through all the runs. Um, we have a circuitry sub-team that designs the circuits and all the electronic components behind the car. And we finally have a mechanical team that designs the chassis of the car. What's your favorite part about being on the team? So my favorite part of being in Kemi Car would have to be kind of our final run at Nationals where our car stopped very close to the line and it was kind of the verification of all the work we've done in the last one and a half years or so. Tell okay. me because I know nothing about chemistry. Um, so yeah, go ahead. So kind of the premise behind our iodine clock reaction is yeah. when you have two colorless solutions and you pour them and mix them together. Uh, there's a certain time delay that's predetermined by the chemistry and the ratios that we use. Okay. And at that set time, the reaction will kind of instantaneously okay. turn a very dark blue. And Ooh, so that's okay. what signals our car to stop. Okay, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, and that's what you're about to do now. Yes, yeah, so we're about to prepare all the chemicals for that. Yes. Okay. So we're just weighing some vitamin C powder right now. I have a question. <laughs> I hope this is not too much for you. Do you mind if I help you guys? So like even just like to put the, the acid in mm -hmm. and weigh it and stuff. Is that okay with you? Okay, so never forget your goggles. <laughs> Most important part. I don't even know if I'm gonna get rid of it. There we go. I'm ready almost. Like a doctor. So this is the hardest part, you know. You have to measure <laughs> it really well. I feel like I put way too much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the car runs and learn about other parts of it. So I'm going to put the chemicals in for our iodine clock reaction. So this is some vitamin C, uh, starch, and some hydrogen peroxide. Just down here. And this is a iodine solution with some water. And when those two mix, there will be a color change. Oh, crisp stop. That was awesome. I loved watching that. Thank you guys so much for having me today and showing me your amazing car. Um, if you guys want to learn more about Kevin Car, check out the link in the description. And like this video, comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe.